Welcome back from your weekend, Raiders. I'm Katie Bavard. And I'm Tyler Donald. Here are your announcements for the week of May 1st. All senior books, fines, and overdue balances are due by today, May 1st. If you do not have library fines, overdue books, lost books, or returns taken care of by May 4th, you cannot get your cap and gown. In other library news, Tala Dimitrov completed the Abe Lincoln Challenge and read 20 books this year. She was the only student to complete this challenge this year. Congrats, Tala. From butterbeer to fried green tomatoes, I wanted to see how One Foods Classroom was cooking up ways to learn about books. Visualizing books in a whole new way, that's the idea behind the edible book fair that happened last Friday. It kind of brings together everyone and lets everybody try something new in the class and it's not just one person making the same thing, so everybody kind of gets to try everything. The class we saw chose fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Set in the 1930s, the book tells of a friendship between Evelyn Couch, a middle-aged housewife, and Ninny Threadgood, an elderly woman who lives in a nursing home. Each kitchen is responsible for creating a dish based on the southern novel. This group's choice, pulled pork. I wanted to try something that I've never made before, and since I've never made this, I thought it would be kind of cool. This is the eighth year for the Edible Book Fair, but they wanted to try something new this time, making foods that relate to a book that they read in class. It used to be that they would uh, decorate a cake based on a novel, but I wanted to change it up and let everybody sample different kinds of foods and try to bring the novels to life a little bit more. There will be a volleyball informational meeting on Thursday, May 4th, at 7.30 a.m. in Coach Moore's room. The triathlete picture for the yearbook will be taken today during Raider Hour. You should have received a pass from the athletic office. The picture will be taken in the main gym. Would you like to be included in the Project Graduation senior video? If so, please email three to four pictures of yourself to brandy.hogan.95 at gmail.com. Please choose one baby picture, one or two middle school pictures, and a senior picture. If you would like, you can also send in any group pictures you have with other seniors. If you have any questions, please contact Brandy Hogan at the same email address. Seniors, Honors Night invitations have been sent by mail to your home. Those seniors that are invited to Honors Night are recipients of our local scholarships and or the Department of the Year awards. This year's Honors Night will be held on Thursday, May 11th at 6.30 in our cafeteria. If you receive an invitation, please be sure to RSVP to Mrs. Vasquez at your earliest convenience. Last week, band students and incoming freshmen learned the theme for the 2017 Raiders show. That's right, Out of the Ashes promises to be a different type of show for the marching band. The program will include solos from Emily Davis on flute, Evan Dre on saxophone, and Silas Gilman on guitar. Band director Mr. Schneblin is looking forward to a theme that can show off such a unique storyline. Super excited about it. It's uh, a story that shows and unfolds a uh, forbidden love story. And we'll be using a little bit of Shakespeare's um, Antony and Cleopatra. And there will be some quotes uh, wound throughout the show. One of the songs, Goddess of Fire, will be performed at the, their spring concert. You can catch that sneak peek this Wednesday at 7 p.m. It's free admission for everyone. Do you love to sing? Do you want to sing with a group of other talented students? Chorale auditions for next year's ensemble will be held on May 9th and 11th from after school until 8 p.m. Audition slots will be in 10-minute increments. See Miss Church in 101F for details and audition music. Last week, you saw me give you a sneak peek at The Essayist, our literary arts magazine. Please come to EPCHS Fine Arts Night on Friday, May 5th at The Hive and Rhythm Kitchen in Peoria from 5 to 7 p.m. You'll be supporting our local EP high school artists as visual artists, writers, musicians, and culinary artists will be there. Yeah. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, check out the screen during lunch or log on the school website and check them out there. Stay tuned to meet a new staff member of the week, Mr. Oliger. Plus, your extracurriculars for the week are up next. This episode is brought to you by the East Peoria Lady Raiders soccer team. Raider One, two, three, Raiders! Hi, I'm Connor Billard, and I'm here with the freshman English teacher, Mr. Oliger, and uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what he does around here. So uh, what is it that you do? I, uh, I teach ninth grade English. I teach four sections of regular and f two sections of academic, and it's been a really fun first year here at EP for me. I also heard that you uh, started up a guitar club. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, we did start that up this year, and it's been really good. Right now we have five students who um, have a slot after school. They come and they sign up, and it's free guitar lessons. Um, have a lot of experience playing guitar. I did some touring in college. I've been playing since I was 10 years old, um, and it's just something I like to share. And so I enjoy doing the lessons. If you want to sign up, all you got to do is uh, come to my classroom and grab a permission slip, get that signed. Um, it's totally free. The only thing I ask is that you show up when you say you're going to show up. You know, uh, no shows aren't fun for me. So. All right. Well, thank you very much. If you're interested in guitar club, uh, be sure to meet Mr. Oliger up on the third floor. 
Welcome back, Raiders, and here's a list of this week's extracurricular activities. On Monday, May 1st, Freshman Boys Baseball is home versus Morton at 415. Varsity Boys Baseball is at Morton at 7 o'clock. Sophomore Boys Baseball is at home versus Morton at 415. On Tuesday, May 2nd, Boys Varsity Tennis is at Metamora at 3.30. Girls Varsity Softball is at home versus Dunlap at 4.30. And the Freshman Sophomore Girls Softball Team is at home versus Dunlap at 4.30. Freshman Sophomore Girls Soccer is at home versus Washington at 4.30. And Varsity Girls Soccer is at home versus Washington at 6.30. On Wednesday, May 3rd, Varsity Baseball is at home versus Wharton at 4.15. Varsity Boys Tennis is at Limestone at 3.30. Varsity Softball is at Normal Community High School at 4.30. On Thursday, May 4th, Varsity Boys Baseball is at home versus Brimfield at 4.15. Varsity Girls Soccer is at Peoria Christian at 6. And Varsity Softball is at Pekin at 4.30. Girls Track is at Metamora, and that, that time is still to be announced. On Friday, May 5th, Boys Track is away at Morton at 4.15. Varsity Girls Soccer is at Limestone, and that time is still to be announced. Sliding into the weekend, we have one event on Saturday, and that is Varsity Girls Soccer at Lincoln at 10. That's all we have for you today. I'm Sydney Burtis. And I'm Stephanie Latrell. And, and from, from everyone, everyone here at Inside, Inside the, the Tribe, tribe have, have a great Raider Day. day.